Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? Right, so welcome to the first video of the Carrion Empire series that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be making every single model in the box and then I'm going to be painting them as well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this series. And for the first video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I built the 10 Crypt Ghouls that come with it. Now I know there's 20 Crypt Ghouls in the whole box, but I need uh, the 10 other parts for conversion. So I have another 20 of these that I painted up a few years ago. So I think another 10 is just about right to have 30 of them all together. Yeah, as I said, they're great models for conversions. So I want to keep like a full sprue of extra bits for that from this kit. So uh, let's switch down to the table view and have a look at how I did it. So the tools that I used in this video are my hobby clippers, my hobby knife, my plastic glue, and of course super glue. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is that all 10 of these models are on one big handy dandy sprue so I don't have to go looking around for them or anything on different sprues for different parts but um, it's it's two sprues kind of put together so let's look into this one big sprue um, but there, like, there's a lot on them there's uh, since, like, since this is a, a 10 man set there is 10 legs, 10 bodies but there's a couple of spare heads, a lot of spare arms, and you get things like spare bones. Uh, well, not spare bones, but if you don't put them on your original guys, there's a few bones then left over as well. And so you can get a couple of them left over if you don't use them. Uh, they come in on 25 millimeter bases, which are, I forgot how small 25 mil bases are, but there's 10 of them here, I have them ready. And, you know, I'm pretty familiar with this set. As I said before, I've built these before. I have a 20-man unit. As far as I can remember, and from looking at the instructions, they're pretty basic. It's like, glue the two arms, glue the head to the body, stick it on the, the legs, and stick it to the base. And it's pretty simple. Everything kind of fits in uh, as it should. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put all the legs... I'm going to actually start with the legs. I'm going to clip all the legs off and glue them on to the bases so I can get them dried before I move on to anything else. So pretty quick I picked up on the fact that the feet of the Crypt Ghouls are really really small and can be very fragile. So what I'd recommend is like I have a normal kind of small uh, pliers and if you really like this his right foot you're going to get off pretty handy. But for the likes of the other foot in behind, it might be a bit trickier and you might damage uh, some of the toes of the part. So what I'd recommend is doing is maybe just clipping the bigger part off first. And then even up here you have to be a bit careful. So what I'd recommend is maybe taking the bigger part off first and clipping it down. If you can get right down to the toes, that's, the toes, that's good. But then maybe use your hobby knife or a file just to get these parts off as well so you won't be doing too much damage on the toes. Okay, so I have all the legs clipped off and I have... What I'm going to do is I have five of them on the bases now glued. And I'm going to leave five and I'm going to follow the instructions like they said. Put the bodies together first and then stick them on to the legs. So one thing I want to share is these models are extremely fragile in parts. And a perfect example of that is this leg right here. So as you can see, if you look just above the ankle, the kind of white lines or the white marks in it, that's from the feet bending when I'm trying to clean the bottom of the foot. So they are really fragile. These legs can uh, snap off pretty easily, especially uh, the foot area from the ankle, the ankle downwards. So be very, very careful with that. And um, the other big thing is the bones on some of them here stick right out. And as you can see, this one here did bend a little bit on me. So just be careful with some of the smaller parts on these. And I imagine that's going to be the same with the hands as well. So take a little bit of extra time and a little bit of caution when uh, cleaning these guys and clipping them off the sprue and everything. Alright, so I have them all finished here. All 10 of them finally met up. So let's have a closer look. Now the, the first thing I did was, so I had this idea of putting five of them 
uh, gluing the feet to the base and then building on top of that. And the other five was going to be building the bodies with the arms and the head and then sticking them on to the base and everything but it was a, just a, it was a disaster so what I ended up doing was straight away was gluing the five other set of legs straight onto the base putting the body on then putting the arms on and then finally put the head on because if you put the head on before the arms then you have less maneuverability uh, to fit the arms in so you put the arms in first and then you fit the head in around that but other than that very simple to put together I really enjoy these models, they're great for conversions, very uh, awesome to look at. Like their faces, their poses. Really nice to look at, I really had a good time working with them. A little bit fragile, but just take your time and that will be fine. Now for the bits that are going to be left over, this is what you get that's left over. You get roughly about 10 set of arms which work very well with uh, similar sized models. They're really nice uh, arms, they have like the big claws and everything. And you get about eight heads and a couple of bones that I didn't really want to use, so I'll just have them for bits left over. So that's it for how I built the Crypt Ghouls. The models are very, very frail. Well, most points can be. The bodies are kind of okay. But especially the legs when you're clipping them off and when you're putting a little bit of pressure on them when you want them when you want them to stick to the base. You just gotta be a little bit more careful with them. Take your time clipping them off the sprue because you don't want to damage the feet. Um, they're on 25mm bases, which is really small. I haven't worked on a 25mm base for a long time. And definitely start by gluing the legs onto the base. I know the instructions kind of show building the the body parts first, the upper part, but it didn't work out for me trying to do it that way. So make sure to glue the feet onto the base first, then the body, stick the arms on third, and then put the head on last. Because if you do in that order, it gives you a little bit more flexibility with the head. And you don't have to worry about the head being in the way of the arms when trying to put them on. So that, do it in that order. You have the legs, the body, the arms, then the head. So I had a lot of fun making these guys. I forgot how nice these models are. So I'm really looking forward to painting them for next week's video. And hopefully you guys are going to stay tuned for that as well. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. I love getting feedback from you guys. And once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.